Welcome to the Woodley Wanderers. What's up, everybody? It's Jamal. Guys, in this video, it's going to be a little different. This video, Monique and I actually bought a house right here in Atlanta, and we're about to set up shop. So today, I'm going to be buying miscellaneous things that we need for this Airbnb. So I'm at Home Depot right now, grabbing a whole bunch of product that I'm going to need. We're going to buy some tarp, some bits, maybe some bungee cords to hold stuff down. We're going to change it up. I know our channel's all about lifestyle, travel, and all that good stuff, but we're going to show you how Airbnb has literally funded our lifestyle across the country. So I'm excited. It's just me this time, so we'll see what this thing, uh, what happens. I had to make a quick stop, also at Ikea, to get some ideas of what I wanted to get. I know I want a kitchen island um, and some ideas for the bedroom. So I'm about to walk around and uh, see what we have here. All right, yep, kitchen island's right there. Give me something easy. Like that. We'll see. Okay. Okay, I found the bedroom sets. Oh shit, I'm gonna go broke in this bitch. This supposed to be a cheap spot. We'll see. All right, guys. I made it to the house. The house Monique and I just bought here in Georgia, in Atlanta. And we're about to convert this thing. You know, Airbnb has been good to us in LA. So we're hoping that LA Airbnb is going to be great to us here in Atlanta. So we bought this house just for Airbnb. I want to show you guys the before and after. Because um, it's really not before and after because I got some stuff already in it already. So it's not the finished product, but uh, you're going to get an idea up front of what it's going to look like. So um, I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour. And then uh, I'm going to show you before and after. All right, this is the front of the house. Okay, just walked in and this is actual the garage studio conversion so the garage was converted so this is technically a studio now with its own door and entrance that's the outside and it's cool because it has its own full bathroom right in here it's supposed to be white Ooh. and the living room here there's some stuff already set up not all the way done, but it, you get the idea. Sunroom, still completely empty. Uh, it's nice, it could be extra bedroom really, or, you know, sunroom, so let's see. A little small porch, leads to the backyard. Backyard's not that great. This will probably do last, the backyard. Uh, I might have to do it over time. The backyard needs some work. A lot of work actually. Back into the kitchen area. Nice little backdrop. And also a dark in here. Overlook the living room, which is pretty cool. No minor mess. We're getting together. Or I am. Another bathroom here. His and hers. A nice up to date and modern shower. I mentioned that I'm gonna do a before and after, and right now it's after. After five long days of putting this place together, shout out to my mom, my aunt Les, cousin Kareem, best friend Sean, Martin even stopped through. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for helping me get this place set up so we can make some money. So, that being said, I'm gonna give you guys a tour show you what I did, show you how we decorated, give you some prices of what we had to pay to get this thing going. All right, here we are. The entry, when you come in, got this at a spot called At Home, something like that, oh, that was a cool little spot. And blinds, put that together, but here it is. So, the mirror here, got that from Ikea. Took four of us to put it together as far as like holding it up and placing it. That thing is heavy. But uh, shout out to the team that came through to help your boy. Thank you. Got some canvases from Ross. Shout out to Ross. We went there like eight times. We got to know the, the people that actually worked there because they saw us coming and going. It was kind of fun. Got that painting from Ross, 50 bucks. Couch here. Shout out to my best friend, Sean. I actually bought his apartment. 
literally, I bought his entire apartment. So I'm gonna show you the things I bought from him. We got his bed, his, his couch, hell, his kettle over there. I bought, I bought everything. So thank you, Sean, appreciate you, bro. TV, thank you, Sean. <laughs> All right, guys, and now we're going to enter to the sunroom. Check it out. Got a nice little bar here. Got a nice little dining room table here. We did this way because it's more like a breakfast. How the seats align up kind of right there. So we're going to get some, some cushions to get that going. Then there's the kitchen. Kind of did some added touches like some mats and, you know, kettle and some stuff from Ross. And you can get, keep calm and drink wine, stuff like that. Bought some blenders. That was actually Sean's, the kitchen knife. Thank you, bro. Bought this for my sister for 20 bucks. Can't believe she damn charged me 20 bucks for a damn microwave. Some sister I got. All right, here's the bathroom. We actually had white mats on the floor, but they're in the washer right now. And yes, I bought a washer and dryer. And guess how much I paid? It's like 150 bucks for both of those things. Shout out to Offer Up. Bedding is ready. Check it out. Got a nice little lamp there from Ross. No, Target, 50 bucks. Target is freaking expensive for a lamp. But uh, the bedding came out well from Ross. It was like 60, 70 bucks. The actual bed, it was about 600 for the bed set. And the frame was about, I don't know, like 300 bucks. So about 900 bucks, 1,000 bucks all in for the whole bed assembly there. That's just one of the room, one of the guest rooms. And then we got the other guest room, same lamp. Nightstand, which one place called At Home, cost me a hundred bucks for just that nightstand, fifty bucks for that lamp, and again a thousand bucks for this whole setup here. And then, uh, yeah, got a little couple free hangers, some Ross towels, and then it's the master. This is part of the agreement from my best friend Sean. Does not buy his apartment, and uh, yeah, I got this from him, and I bought his apartment for a thousand bucks. And I didn't do much to this. All I think I did was add was this bad boy and assembled it. Shout out to my mom for holding your boy down. She was actually riding with me the whole time. Literally, three or four nights straight of staying up until 5 a.m. in the morning. Literally, putting this place together, assembling things, putting some things together. Man, she is a trooper. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mom. Thank you. I love you. Hope you guys like it all in, guys. I probably spent somewhere between 37, 3,800 bucks to furnish a three bedroom house. Um, I cut cost a lot. The cost I did, didn't do was this refrigerator. Wouldn't believe that this refrigerator right here, I paid 265 bucks for this bad boy. And yes, it works. <laughs> yes, it works. I think I spent a lot less than I think most people would for a three bedroom house, considering like I bargained. All the offers that I made, guys that took my offers or accepted my offers or seen my offers, I apologize because I know I went hella low. But for the ones accepted, thank you. <laughs> I would have done this without you. Seriously. That being said, anyway. So these blinds right here are from Home Depot. They're like the wood, good quality, so you could kind of avoid having curtains. So I bought those and I bought it for the sunroom. So about six, seven, and the bedrooms as well. Literally, that was probably my, my biggest expense outside of the beds. Definitely worth it because I don't need curtains and it's a nice little look. Nice little poly, for example, straight ahead. Shutters there on the back window and door. And I like those things. It's really good quality. It's going to last forever as well. I think that's it. Just me here. I leave in the morning. I am getting out of Atlanta. Going back to my baby girl and my beautiful wife. Baby, I'm coming home. <laughs> that being it, says, I know this is a little bit different. I know this was outside of the traveling ordeal, but I hope this helped somebody. Hope there was a takeaway somewhere that you can do this as an Airbnb entrepreneur. If you wanna do it on the side, wanna do it as a full time. Monique and I have been doing it for years and it's literally established our income significantly. So do it if you can. Um, it pays for our lifestyle, literally. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, with that being said, guys, like, share, comment, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think about this video and our other videos, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So uh, you can see where we're going next as far as traveling. And hey, maybe we buy another property and I'll, I'll do another before and after with you. So that being, that being said, I'm one half of the Woodley Wanderers. We out here.